Hi guys, Lindy here and Sophie. She's here. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, you can't be in the movie. All right, so my scraps are just taking over. So I did some scrap collage on some Rolodex cards ready to use whenever I'm ready, but it's just so much fun to take papers and your scraps and glue them down. And I had done these quite a while ago, and but the other side is still the shiny bird papers. So all of these need to be, um, I like to put uh, line paper on the back of these. So that's probably, I'll be doing that. But the one thing I wanna do is show you oh, what else I, I'm going to do with the scraps. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to put this down so that the light doesn't shine in the camera. All right, so what I like to do that I think is fun is to make little booklets out of the scraps. So this one just has a few pages in it, and it's just scrapbook paper. Um, that can be put in a book. This is another one that I just took some of the coffee dyed paper and used one of my cards. This is part of one of those cards. I have a box of them that I got at an antique store, and I think they're just font cards, but they're pretty cool. They're fun to play with. Here's a, another one that's part of one of them. See, this is why I figure it's font card. <laughs> Anyway, so that's what I did with that one. Now I have the center pieces of um, coffee dyed paper from those notebooks, that notebook that I did the whole book, and I have the, the center parts. And I thought since it's already folded, I know it's kind of a small little page, but I thought it would make it a nice little book tuck. So that's got five pages in it, and this is a piece of a scrap from Graphic 45, and it was big enough that I could fold it and put um, some little notches in it. So I'm gonna sew that in there. And then I have this one that is some um, coffee, Jeffrey Coffee. Mm, I forget which paper it is, but um, I thought it'd be kind of neat for uh, summer journal, so I'm going to put that one in there. Then I have tons of this. Tons and tons of this. No, not tons, but enough of it that, you know, I want to do something with it. So I think, and we'll give it a try before I sew these. I think I might want to just put this one back on the back of these. And these are just fun once you get the collaging done or just using up the scrap paper is done and then you put something like this on the back they make really nice tags or journaling cards and I just like well see now now this is going to bug me because you can see through here um so I'm going to want to do something to this first um because these are so white. Now, if I put the coffee dyed on it, it's not as bad. Well, you can still see through it pretty good. So I'm gonna wanna paint these or something. I have some, this white picket fence paint from, but this is distress paint, so I don't, I don't think it's gonna cover that good. Let's just see. We'll put that on this side. And then I have this Americana white. I know I hate to cover him up, isn't he cute? You ever have a day when you wanna craft and you just can't think of what you wanna do and then you decide and then nothing works. <laughs> oh boy, that's probably way too much. All right, we'll see which one covers better. I have a feeling it's not going to be the distress paint. There we go. That'll make a good base for that white paper. So I wonder if I mixed it with a little Mod Podge, if I could just lay the paper right down on it. Like this. Might stay. 
stick to the paint, but it might not. I'm going to try it. What the heck? Do a little experiment. Put a little Maj Paj in there. That's white, too. And be a one-shot deal. And then it'll have to dry before I know if it's working or not. So, we're just going to put these on here like this. Kind of fills up some of those hole, stitching holes, too. I can kind of see the bird through there, but maybe it'll dry clear. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Put a little paint and a little Maj Paj. Mix them up. <laughs> I'm doing a science experiment. My husband, I used to make my own jelly print things and put them in the refrigerator out in the garage where he'd have his beer. <laughs> and he'd say, your science experiment is changing colors or it's growing because it would get moldy because the homemade ones that I made didn't, I didn't have the right recipe. So then I just bought some. I haven't done that in a while either. That would be good paper to put on the back of this too. But I have all this that needs to be used up. So this is how I'm using it. Because you just, you don't eat, know until you start cutting it apart um, where the lines or anything's going to meet. So, all right, there's one done. I've just got to, oh, I missed this part of here. Because it matches, kind of. I'm going to do one more. I don't think it's going to be that bad of a results. All right, one more. Paint. These aren't American birds, so I'm figuring it's okay. <laughs> and like I said, I have a ton, a book full of these. So, just trying to make use of what I have. Oh, I forgot to put the Maj Paj in. <laughs> okay, somebody out there is going to say, oh no, what did you do? I just like how sturdy these are. So I have this um, container that I put scrap, you know, like scraps like this and scraps like um, designer paper in. But then I also have drawers that I put scraps of colored paper in. And I try to go to all that stuff first before I cut into a new piece of paper. And then, you know, like you end up with lots of little tiny, pe well, small pieces, like on the front of this. Oops, it's a big bubble. That's all right. Wrinkles are acceptable in my world. If you're cutting apart um, copy books is what they're called, those black marble copy books, and you have the pieces left, that's something you can do with it. Then you cut it up into tags and, may, and you know, embellish them. So we'll see how that dries. That's kind of curling on me, but let me see. I think I need to... But when things curl, I just iron them or put them under something and they survive. This 
see I end up with a little container like this of little pieces and then that's what I take and put on something like this and just hope that when I cut them apart they look pretty cool and so far I've had pretty good luck with it okay so now I'm going to take those little books that I made and sew them see these are really thin which is what those were too um I could make the tablets more like this one you know that's about the size of that but then they have that stitching down the middle but I don't I don't know that that matters so much all right just let me get this cleaned up a little bit before it dries and maybe this might be a, a little cute little cover um not sure if I want to make it a little notebook or a flip up. I think flipping it up would be better. This is just a little narrower than that. I don't think uh, I do want this, some of these for that. Let's see. Oh, there's plenty. Okay, we'll use this and let's see how many pages are here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do with this one is, let's see, this might not be, I pulled this in here. That didn't work so good. And then just sew it on one side. So I'll have to trim it down. So if I trim off the red part, let's see, is that all? Yeah. And then, and then trim off the bottom here. I'm going to just sew across there. All right. I get that done. Now I have this little one and just had a container out here with like butterflies. So I think I'll just round the corners on this. Um, so it looks like that. It does have that stitching in there, but you know, it's recycled art. So you can still use them. And I think the pages would turn off, tear off easy enough. I think that'll be okay. I'm not sure I want to decorate these yet. I think I want to just make a bunch of these little books and have them on hand so that... What's going on with those scissors? They aren't cutting. Another pair. <laughs> Another shopping from Felicia. <laughs> Pretty scissors. Aren't they cute? Um, yeah. I like scissors too, but you know, I, I have to have scissors in every room of the house, in the car, everywhere. All right, so I don't think I want to do anything to that, although I did just get that ephemera. Oh, I keep using the wrong one. Makes a difference. Yep. Okay, so there's three. I did just get this ephemera might be kind of fun to put some of this on the front and then i'll just have to find the right book for it right this is graphic 45 paper um get down the lace jar there's some blue jean for that one needs blue jean don't you think maybe i'll sew that on there like that and i'm gonna put this one on here it's this little piece not sure i like all that white in that one oh gosh it's 
so pretty that it's almost identical to the book. They're all beautiful, aren't they? Ooh, that's really pretty. Pretty little butterfly. Do they blend in too much? Maybe. A little bit of lace. This is kind of a stiff, scratchy kind of lace. That would be good for maybe stenciling. That. These two things on there. Look a little bit more. The paper's so busy that maybe just one flower and a butterfly. I think that'll do, and I think I'm going to ink it with black. Just want to cut a little bit of this white out because see now these scissors work fine for this so that's what I'm doing today I'm kind of cleaning up my art room and trying to do something with the mess instead of just tossing it all away and watching videos Today I was watching Amy at Crafty Cat. She's doing a lot of collage and that's pretty cool. I'll put her name in my description. Um, she's doing the 52, no, she's doing the CW Planner that I'm doing. And that's fun. Okay, so this is going to have to get glued down here pretty good. Oh, I can use my um, Fabri-Tac that I put in a little bottle. Let's hope I can get the pin out. Oh, I can. <laughs> it's like, ugh, that Fabri-Tac. I just can't, uh, can't do it with um, the big bottle. It just, see, it's even hard with this. this on here and a butterfly up there yeah I think that's enough I don't have three oh, I have the lace is that considered one let's see let's see oh this is kind of fun Yeah, I'll just do that because it works. And I have no idea how I'm going to use this little book. But I thought it'd be nice to have a little stash of little journal thingies to add to books. should make one with a cat on the front because I'm working on those cat journals. Yeah, I don't know if these bottles were the best for this. You know, the points are pretty fine. I know I can thin this glue down with acetate or the stuff you use on your fingernails. And I've done that. The last bottle I had, I practically had half acetone and half this stuff because my Fabri-Tac was so old. <laughs> There's a little piece I didn't get off of there. Rudy's in the background. So it's it's like three o'clock 
and I feed them at five o'clock and they start at four o'clock feed, you know, feeding, you know, wanting to be fed and tomorrow's daylight savings. And I'm just thinking, when are they going to start then? <laughs> well, let's see, we spring forward. So right now it would be, oh, maybe they're right. I don't know. Maybe they'll be all right. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, I know I want to do this one because I love this blue jean on here. <laughs> and I would need a really blue butterfly. I don't think there's a real blue butterfly in here. But I'm sure I have one somewhere. I think I'm just going to put this blue jean on here now and just leave it at that for because I'm not sure what else <clears throat> I want to do with this little booklet. I could have gone all the way around, but this is paper. It's not like it's really heavy duty cardstock. Trying to decide where I want it. I think that's a good place for it. And I'm just going to tack it down a little bit, but I'll probably sew it when I put on my, when I change my thread. The thread's a different color in there right now. And this will need to dry really good before I put it through my sewing machine. So we're going to put it right here on the edge. All right. Well, that's what I've done today. Worked on my collage papers. They aren't completely dry yet, so I don't want to cut them up, but I'll do that maybe tomorrow. I like to let things dry overnight. I'm getting more patient in my old age. And then I have this little one with the coffee dye, and this one has two little pockets in it, too. So that was kind of fun. And then I have this one and this one and this one so i've got a little bit of a dent in my scraps i hope you're all well and having fun and finding things in your craft room to keep you busy have a great day bye bye thanks for watching mm -hmm.